joined the group at Jersey Zoo two years ago. He's to be a father. The proud mother is Halala Kahili, one of Yambo's daughters, and the patter of tiny feet and knuckles, presumably, as expected in January next year. Well, we are obviously speechless with admiration there. Sorry we lost the sound on that. We'll try and get it back for you a little later in the programme. I think, I think we're going to move on to our next item, which in fact is the first of a new series. The announcement of the pregnancy is particularly good news for the zoo, who until now had no proof of Yaquanza's ability to father offspring. It's uh, something we've been waiting for now uh, for some months. Um, I have to say that Yaquanza started showing... Uh, sexual interest in the younger females about six months ago or perhaps I should say they showed sexual interest in him and uh, for the past three or four months uh, matings have been observed so we thought it was just a question of time. The zoo have been keeping a close watch on the black back's sexual behaviour so close in fact that Richard Johnston Scott captured the magic moment of Yaquanza and Kahili's meeting on video. The film, which we didn't think would be appropriate to include in this report, is part of the zoo's scientific research into gorillas breeding. The pregnancy, now in its ninth week, will be closely monitored to try to minimize the risk of complications. But even if Kahili does give birth to a healthy baby next January, there's still a risk that she may not get on with her newborn. There's always a worry um, with, with, with first-time mothers. Um, we have in the past had rejections uh, from... Uh, her uh, older females, Napongo, for example, who is in fact Kahili's mother, rejected her first three offspring. But um, unlike uh, her mother, Kahili has at least had the opportunity to observe other females nursing infants. So I would say this will improve her chances greatly of, uh, of knowing how to handle the situation and knowing, you know, being known what to do when, when the baby comes along. Already there are hopes that another of Yambo's daughters, Sakina, may soon bear Yakwanza's second offspring. But a pregnancy test yesterday showed that the young female is not yet pregnant. Yakwanza has a lot to live up to after the breeding success of his famous predecessor. Yambo fathered 14 live offsprings and by so doing put Jersey Zoo on the world map. Dad, yet again. It's the second time in a fortnight that impending parenthood has been confirmed. And there may be more. This morning, the Aussie replacement for Yambo was ushered inside for a well-earned special treat, a sponge cake complete with 11 carrot candles. The head of the zoo's ape section, Richard Johnston Scott, put the finishing touches to Yaquanza's birthday cake. And a few minutes later, the new super dad was summoned inside. He wasn't too interested in the cards, but he did make short work of his birthday treat. He even eventually allowed girlfriend Kahili to have a mouthful. Kahili was the first to be confirmed pregnant by Yaquanza. For zoo staff, both here and in Australia, there was relief that Yaquanza had at last proved his manhood after a two-year wait. People kept asking, you know, when are you going to be breeding gorillas again at Jersey? Now you've got this new male, you know, um, he's supposed to be uh, so wonderful. Well, I mean, animals take time to, to settle down. They're very sensitive animals, gorillas, and they, they, need, they need time to settle down and adapt to new surroundings. So I wasn't, wasn't unduly worried, but, um, you know, people kept asking and kept asking, and so it's nice to be able to say, well, you know, we've now got a pregnancy. In fact, we've got two. Indeed, Yaquanza had his own birthday surprise for the zoo. 16-year-old Kishka is also in the family way. So what's the explanation for Yaquanza's sudden found virility? He's certainly matured. Uh, he's, uh, he's still only about two-thirds grown. When he's fully grown, he's going to be, I think, bigger than Yambo was. Probably be sort of 450 pounds, maybe even more than that. So, uh, yes, as he gets bigger, he imposes himself more on the females, has, gets greater respect from them. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it, it, he's now the undisputed leader of the group. There's no doubt about that. Zoo staff are now hoping that other females in the group will come under Yaquanza's spell. Rumour is that one more may well have done just that already. Happy birthday, Yaquanza. Nice. 
Dad. Hello, your friend. Orangutans. Orangutans go. See, I knew you'd find it funny. I don't, I don't. 